This is my VOPC at Colombia versus Spain, where I'll take you behind the scenes, greeting the players, checking out the dressing rooms, a life made experience, even touching distance from the walkouts. But all this doesn't even come close to the job UEFA had given me. To understand how this all happened, we have to go back. One Friday morning, I heard a huh? from a recognizable group. You have one hour. How, how do they even. I don't even have my number. What is this? With time against us, we left to go. What? What's this? Spain, Colombia. Access all areas. Today's just getting weirder. Let's go to the stadium. So we rushed over to London Stadium and on arrival, complete these five tasks to win mystery football access. A text that decides our fate. Five tasks and two hours to complete them? I have no idea what I'm in for, but I'm excited. Little did I know that orange pass in my pocket was going to get me into areas I've never been. A voice note appeared. Was that our first challenge? Find the Columbia changing room. Pick a cool item. So we rushed through the media entrance. We weren't allowed to record here. After peeking around, I saw a sign to an away dressing room. Should I take the risk and enter? I did, and we found the jackpot. All new Adidas kits laid out. Boots, shorts, even. Shin pads there as well. Pretty unique. He's not going to win a football match without those shin pads. They've got to be perfect. There was no doubt Hamez owned the coolest item. So it's time to tell UEFA. First objective complete. But UEFA weren't waiting around. Now enter the Spain changing room. Find a cooler item. So I wandered down the hallway where I found a peculiar door left open. I peeked in and saw a Spanish kit with a West Ham trophy celebration on the wall. Surely that's the home changing room. It was. Fresh new kits neatly folded in front of us. La Mina Mal. Morocco or Spain. Either way, one of the wonder kids. But we needed to find a cool item. Maratta number seven. Look at this. Captain's armband. Our second objective was done, but I had to do something for my UEFA job. More on this later. Greet a Spanish player on entry. They must respond. If I was a player, I'd enter somewhere near the changing room, so I knew I was close. Then at the end of the hallway, I saw a coach arrive. We had to stand behind the broadcast, and I needed a Spanish player to greet me. The problem was they were all in game mode, nobody was looking over, and I couldn't make too much noise. Maybe I'd failed the challenge, I'll never get my mystery football access. Hold on, Cucurella! Mark Cucurella with the wave. The nicest man in football confirmed. Three tasks out of five, but my time was running out. Now the Colombia team are coming. Get the captain, Luis Diaz. I've got to get away from Luis Diaz. I can't go back to the pub with dog that. Here comes the Colombia team. I was having a bad time. None of the Colombia players were greeting me. A few smiles there. But it was okay, as the task was down to one player. Luis Diaz. Right. That is limbs, that is limbs. No more fog that. As I walked out to the pitch to watch warm-ups, I received my fifth and final task. You will do the coin toss for today's match. Go beside the pitch and flip it. We are watching. This is amazing. This was my official job for the Spain-Colombia match. I was given a UEFA bib allowing me to go on the grass. Then all of a sudden, an official walked up to me. This is the official coin toss. I just had to flip this coin to unlock my mystery football access. Heads lands today on the pitch. We're going to give away three Spain shirts. Just come out. Beautiful. And if it lands on tails, then we're going to give away three Columbia shirts. You can only win a kit if you like this video and are subscribed to my channel. By the way, let's beat our likes on the last video because I've never had such special access. You ready? Oh, no! It's heads. I hear a cheer from the Spanish team behind us. Because we're giving away three Spain shirts. Drop a comment why you deserve one. With all five tasks done, I awaited a final message from UEFA. You won't believe what they had lined up for me. But first, we watched the players walk out just touching distance away. They're ready to go. Vamos! <laughs> it was time for the national anthems beginning with Colombia. <laughs> Colombians are taking over London. Now for Spain. We really had the best seats in the house. Final first 11 snapshots as Raya made his final adjustments in front of us before we headed behind the goal where Spain kicked off thanks to my coin toss. There was no coin toss done because I did it. Then finally, our last message arrived. You have complete all five tasks successfully. You will now be guided by a member of our team to your mystery seat. We were chaperoned upstairs to the best seat in the house. Champagne on entry, empanadas to die for. Amazing stadium food on show. A glass door leading to a view of the stadium like no other. We had so much room, leather padded seats. Very nice, very nice. This was the five out of five tasks feeling. Arigato! Arigato! 
Imagine sat with 40,000 fans in the stadium, but the man two rows in front of you is a Colombian hero. Is that Rene Higuita? Scorpion kick guy. He did this against England at Wembley. Go on, Diaz. Oh, he's beating him. You can't stop Luis Diaz right now. Oh. Luis Diaz clearly had that extra boost since I meeted him. His dad was loving it too. We're going to find out if it's really him. Rene, it's really you? Huh? Rene, Higuita, nice to meet you. I'm a big fan. It's an honor to be sat next to you. What guy, it's really him. That's ball knowledge. We headed in just before half time to indulge in our seats, perks, Spanish style food, and unlimited beers on draft. <laughs> but let's just say things got a bit more ugly come the full time whistle. Colombia kicked off the second half thanks to my coin toss. Will that bring them the luck? Oh no! Oh. You talk about playing back to your goalkeeper in that situation. I wouldn't do it. Come on! Yes! Yes! Oh. Colombia, if they score, this stadium's gonna erupt. The stadium was a sea of South America. You could barely spot a Spaniard. Who's this? There's pyro going off. Look, there's pyro in the stands. Look, no Colombian fans are going green. This is a friendly. These guys are crazy. Then a ball lines yeah. up hammers on his left foot. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Just imagine this went in. Oh, Luis Diaz, you beautiful man. Oh. The pride of Colombia. Skipping fast. Oh, finish. are beating Spain. A win would be their first ever in football history. No, I'm just hoping to Rene Higuita and Colombia beating Spain. Ramos, they're setting London alive here and I love it. Spain on the attack, great defending. No. Oh. Nearly an equaliser from Pedro Porro. He's a lethal little player, isn't he? Lamin Yamal, the wonder kid. We saw his shirt in the changing room and the 16 year old enters the field. Danny Olmo, I think. Oh. A free kick whiskers away. Luckily, Colombia is still winning. Oh my God. I Colombia in the lead, his dad dancing in the stands and Louis was dancing on the field. Time is ticking, Colombia still leading. One last chance, Morata with nothing. That shot flew so high, could have landed in your back garden. But what might do is one of the three Spain shirts I'm giving away. Be sure to comment to not miss out. The whistle went. Colombia have beaten Spain. For the very first time. And the whole of London Stadium is yellow, blue and red. So no surprises, the fans were hyped up. There's a massive pitch invasion now. Can we start a count on this? This pitch invasion left me thinking it was more than just a friendly. Beating Espana for the first time ever. Having your first friendly in England for all the fans living in Europe now. Yeah, they're kicking ball on the pitch. Oh my God, it's getting out of hand now. Even Thog Dad was loving it. Yes, they may be 5,000 miles away, but it reminded them of being home. A togetherness, and in a golden generation of talent, they stand a great chance at Copper America. Kicking off a match like this left me with memories for life. We watched Football Heritage. Go join the giveaway, and if you enjoyed this video, you'll like this one where I started a football club with one pound.